but seeing them from a, a distance, welcomed and embraced them, and confessed that they were aliens and strangers on the earth. For those who speak this way make it clear that they seek a fatherland. You see that? Our brothers who sleep before us leave this earth hoping that even though they did not see that promise in their eyes, they know it. That during that day of judgment, they will be the one who will be called the inheritor or the heir of the kingdom. They did not see it. But they believe it is going to happen. And they know that they were just sojourners of this earth. We know how, again, our pastor leave us a good example how to live the faith. Just like Saul said to Timothy, I fought a good fight. How are we going to fight that good fight if we are beset of so many things that fluttering in our mind and we don't even know it is not meant for the Shabbat? We worry about almost everything. Do we, do, do, we don't, don't we? Especially our wives, if you are, if you are married. We do. And if you are parents, yeah, we worry about our children. But our rabbi said, give me your problems, give me your yoke. Oh. oh. Yes. Do you remember in the Garden of Eden what happened before the fall? Everything is provided for. And there's only one task that the man and woman must ask to do. To take care of the garden and to deliver to Father Wesley. But you know, out of those thousands of trees that is in the garden, there's only one that Father Yah told them not to touch. And that one tree is the fall of man. Because we want that tree for what it can be offered to us. Same thing with us. We chase something that we know is vanity. We know that. Because everything that is on the earth is prepared. My father. We know that in the books of uh, Peter, everything on the earth we get rid of. Everything. We know that. And why we fail to grasp the most important thing in our life and we chase the world. The word says the blessings of Father Young don't need sacrifice. You don't need to chase it. No, you don't. You don't need to work 24-7. And by the way, if you work 24-7, because your want is more than what you need. I need it. Sometimes we spend more than what we have. We scratch that card more than what we have that paycheck. Why? Because we buy something more of our wants than what we need. Just like Brother Ben said, we are doing good with that 10%, but we don't know anything about that remaining 90%. We spend as if we are a millionaire for just a day. Right. And then we just say, oh, the Bible says we don't need to worry about tomorrow. Yeah, it's true, but that's not what it meant. <laughs> These people.
people who have faith died because of their hope that there is something better. Yeah, there is. Our life did not end, is not going to end on this earth. It's not. There is a better place. Now, did you know that these words were written twice? In Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah. Here's what the old script, it's like our pastors always say, old script. The old script said in Isaiah 64, verse 4, about that better life, about that better place. Here it is. Isaiah 64, verse 4. Since the beginning of the ages, they have not heard nor perceived by the ear, nor has the eye seen any Elohim besides you, who acts for those who wait for him. But it says, since the beginning of the world, there is a place that is Father yet preparing for us that eyes have not seen, ears that have not heard, the beauty of that place that he prepared to whom? Did he promise for all humanity? No, it's not. It is not. It only promised to whom? To those who are waiting for him. So if we are waiting for him, then we are waiting for him in excitement and anticipation. Because if it is near during the time of the apostles, it is nearer now, 2,000 years past. Right. If there's hope way back then, 2,000 years ago, is it we have more hope now that we see the glimpse that is almost here? He is at the door. That's the, 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 word, was the song said, isn't it? He is at the door, at the door, at the door. He's saying, he's saying. <laughs> Did you know that the same word was repeated by Apostle Saul? Why it was repeated? Because the word says, in the mouth of two witnesses, the word will be established. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, it was repeated by Apostle Saul. Now, I don't know if Saul read the book of Isaiah, or our rabbi told him the same verse. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, here's what it says. But as it has been written, I have not seen, and ear, and ear have not heard, neither have entered into the heart of man, where Elohim has prepared, prepared for those who love him. Prepared for those who? Who love him. How can you say you love Father Yah if you have no inkling to do his will? How can he call you son? Our rabbi said, if you love me, what did he say? Keep. And the commandment that he explained when he was here on earth is the same commandment that Father Yek gave in the old school. So why we want this place that Father Yah preparing for us if we thought that our life on this earth is not temporary. See, it gives us hope that no matter what is happening to us, regardless of what we are today in our life, some of us have a lot of problems we do, but problems is just a part of life. It is not the end of the world. Because in the same verse, I'm sorry, the same book, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, 
Minister Johnson, uh, Minister Shandon, read it. Continue on verse chapter ten, chapter ten, verse thirteen. Same book, sir. No trial has overtaken you except such as is common to men, and Elohim is trustworthy, who shall not allow you to be tried beyond what you are able, but with the trial shall make the way of escape, enabling you to bear it. Woo! The word says there is no one no under the sun. Don't complain that you are just the one who experiencing that. That's no, it was experienced before. It was experienced already before. That's why you don't ask the way going to New Orleans if the one you're asking is from Chicago. <laughs> why? Because he is your friend. Can you know? Ask those who are there already how they come out successful when trials beset them. Yeah. Now, if you notice, the word did not say, Father, I will take you out from your mess. No, he will not take you out from your mess. He will help you to pass that test for us to bear it, to experience it. So that if this thing happen again with one of your loved ones, with one of your brother, with one of your sister, you know what to say. Because you've been there, done that. Don't get upset. It's just a part of life. Today is a new day. Tomorrow is another day. We only live hours a day, whether you like it or not. Tomorrow is history already, not what's gone. Don't cry over that yesterday. Don't cry over a spilled milk. You cannot undo it. <laughs> That's why if you, husband or wife, you have a grudge with your wife, don't bring it up again and again and again and again, again as if you are a broken record. What is done is done. The same thing with your sibling. It is done. Did you know that we, if our father wake us up this morning, he only requires us to be good until the sun goes down. Why? Because if we know the word says when we go to our sleep, and we give our Father yeah, to forgive our sins no matter what. We have a clear slave. And if Father Yah wake us up in the morning, we say it's another day. That's why in Matthew it says, the problem of a day is enough for itself. You don't overthink the problem, otherwise you cannot sleep. Can you? Add a stature to your height by worrying about things that you cannot do anything about it? You cannot. Everything is just temporary. As easy as that, brother, yes, as it is, at the age of 51, I've seen a lot. <coughs> I've seen a lot. But at the end of the day, if Padre Ya Woke you up for another morning, it is another day. I've seen hardship in my life. I know what is to be hungry. I go to bed way back during my time hungry. My stomach is growing. It is now, it's in here. That's why I told to myself, I will never get married because I will not have my children suffer the same thing. That's me, that's me. And I put to my word, I asked Father 